and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here a Pelican pen, and this is a Pelican M800, and it comes in this box. And this is a pen that I've been meaning to review for a long time. And uh, I have also recently sold this pen, so this is actually going to be going off to a new home very shortly. So let me unbox this and I'll show you the pen. I've had this in my currently inked videos for some time and also in my Pelican comparison videos as well. So let's unbox this pen. So this is, as I said, a Pelican and it comes in this lovely sort of leatherette type pad and then if I remove the tray there's a number of other things in here so let me just remove these you have like a wooden plinth there and then you have this pelican and it's really just the warranty booklet here and then you also have moments of joy and it shows you the pelican logos and various pens in the pelican range so i will put this all back and put the tray back in and just put that box back on so this is the leatherette that you get uh, it's not leather it's a sort of plastic leatherette type uh, equivalent and you get this lovely pelican sort of almost like a wax seal there and this is elasticated so you just remove this and inside you have the pen so this is the pen and it is the pelican m800 renaissance brown and you can see here this is a really lovely material and this was a pen that i deliberated hard and long for whether or not I should let it go from my collection. It's a beautiful pen, but it's just a pen that I do not write with uh, enough. And I find this with a lot of my Pelican M800s. And so there might be a few more that I will let go over time. This was really an impulse buy for me. When I saw this material, I really liked it. Uh, I'm not so keen on the green or blue striped material on the, the Pelicans. And this really spoke to me. So that's uh, when I decided to buy it straight away. And it's been a nice pen. It came with a medium nib. And I'll show you that here. Um, I had also swapped it out. I bought a broad nib for it as well. But that's the medium nib. And you can see there... It's actually a, a really nice writer. So for me, like this is a nice pen, but and you see in the size of my hand there, you can also post the cap if you really want to, but it becomes a bit of a wand. Uh, it's a piston filling pen as well. The M800s come with an 18 karat gold nib as well. So th this really is a uh, nice writing pen. So... In terms of size in the hand it's actually quite good uh, and really there is nothing more to say about it other than maybe that the cap is a little bit translucent there that you may be able to see uh, but this really is nice uh, you have the pelican logo there on the cap finial and nothing here that's the piston knob but it really is a nice pen so I think let's do some size checks, weight comparison, and we'll then compare it with some other pens, and then we'll do a writing sample. So in terms of size, we are looking at around about 138 millimeters in length. The cap is about 69, almost 70 millimeters in length. And then let's check the length of the pen length of the pen it's about 120 i'd say about 126 127 millimeters in length so it's actually quite a a good length of pen there now in terms of weight let's do a weight check now this is uninked 
and the weight we're looking at is for the full pen is just over 29 grams the weight for the cap is just over 9 grams and then the weight for the body is just over 18 grams so it's actually quite a lightweight pen and most of these pelicans tend to be so they are actually a good weight but you can see there that's the pen so I think let's do a pen comparison so from left to right we have a pelican and this is the M600 turquoise white we have a pelican M800 Grand Place a pelican M805 Vibrant Blue, a Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl, a Pelican M800 Royal Gold Warden. We then have the Pelican M800 Renaissance Brown. We have a Twisby Diamond 580AL, a Twisby Vac 700R, an Opus 88 Clear Demonstrator, and a Namiki Pilot Vanishing Point, and this is in the Raden Galaxy. So let's do a writing sample. So this is the Pelican M800 Renaissance Brown, and it is an 18 carat gold and it is a medium nib and then the ink in here is Robert Oster and it is gold Antiqua now in terms of the nib width you are looking at a medium line so this is what you will get now you can try and push it a little bit more um, but this is normally quite a hard nib in terms of pelican so you will not get a, a lot of line variation out of these unfortunately but it's just the way pelican do their m800 nibs now in terms of wetness you can see there it's quite a wet nib it's not a fire hose nib but it is a nib that actually writes very well uh, I don't have any problems with hard starts or skipping or anything like that the the pen is actually like most pelicans actually quite a dream to write with so I have these in in broad nibs as well some of the pelicans uh, that I showed you in the pen tray uh, this is a medium nib and as I mentioned uh, this is now uh, gonna go off to a new home hopefully I won't regret that because it is a very nice material pen but uh, I do have other pens I want to add to my collection over time and I realize I can't have all pens so that's the review of the Pelican M800 Renaissance Brown thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video bye bye <music>